Hey, what's up everyone? My name is George and this is SAS Master. Today we're gonna check out Pixel R, which is an image editor. Now they claim there's no learning curve, that it's easy to use. So let's actually see if it's true. I have not done any testing before this video, so we're gonna actually do it together. So I have used before Adobe Photoshop, Adobe Lightroom, and plenty of online editors. So let's actually see if it's true. So let's jump into my desktop and check it out. All right, really quickly, this is the Pixel R deal that's going on right now. And if you use my link, you support me to buy these deals and keep on making videos for you guys. And it won't cost you a single cent more. So the lifetime deal is $49 and that means you pay once, you use it forever. There's no more payments. And what you get with Pixel R lifetime deal is you get access to two sections. It's Pixel R X and Pixel R E. That's how they divide it. And we're going to see both in this video. We're going to check it out. You get all cut out, so that means the background removal. You get 30,000 extra overlays that you could use, 7,000 extra icons, 5,000 decorative text, and exclusive video tutorials and no ads on this platform. And as promised, like I said, I haven't tested this at all. All I did was buy my lifetime deal, uh, put in my redemption code, and this is what I got launched with. And I'm pretty upset because I didn't get a lifetime deal. I only got about 100 years on this. <laughs> Just playing around. All right, so let's launch. Let's start off with Pixel R X. So let's open it and see what's going on. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna open up some images that I've got already on my desktop. So what is this right here? It's welcome to Pixel R. And let's open an image right here. We can also load a neural from what I see. And first off, let's grab one of the images I have right here. Let me see, let me find something. This one right here. So let's just open this one and see what's up. And with this precise image, so we want to go with the full version, I guess, Ultra HD. Let's apply that. We can make this as a default, so it doesn't ask again. In this case, let's keep it this way. Um, I think that's a good option because if you're going to use this for um, on a website, for example, you don't want it to be like a, a big file, right? So this could be okay. Now, this one's already pre-edited with something else with Adobe, I think I remember. But it's okay. Let's see. Let's see what happens. We'll grab another image a little bit. All right. So first thing on the left, we got some tools. We got properties, so we can change the canvas or image size. So the option that we have right now, we can change it. If we click on it, we got the resize image and canvas size. We can rotate. This is some pretty basic stuff. I mean, you can even have this on Windows Paint. Uh, flip horizontal. Let's keep it that way and like that. All right. So let's keep it like that. Let's click again, we remove the tools. And this one is Arrange, Move and Transform and Change Layers. So in this case, we haven't added any layers. And what I see is on the right, we'd have layers. Layers are like, um, if you use Adobe Photoshop, is for example, if you add something like a text or a box or just things that you keep adding on, they become layers. And if you want something to, something to go behind that layer, for example, a text goes on top of the box, you just move that layer. So that's the way it would go. We'll, we'll check that out in a bit. So that's the layers, rearrange. We can unlock or duplicate. We got the crop, straightforward. We got the cutout. Right here, we can do a cutout in circle. So let me see if I drag this. Okay, that's pretty cool. Um, that's harder to do on Adobe Photoshop. There's plenty of more steps to do that. And that was pretty easy right here. Let's see if Command Z, or if you're using the Windows, it's a different one. It's Command Z, does it work? Okay, I like that. I hate tr going to scroll and do the undo when you got this, uh, when you can use a keyboard. I think that's better. Okay, what else do we have? We can do a triangle also. Let's do this triangle. Oops. So the triangle starts in the top. And what if we want to move this triangle? Um, all right. So one of the things I noticed, for example, we got a little cross right here. And if we, if I select over here, what happens? Okay, it adds that icon. But I wish we could change that cross into a like a little hand so we can move that triangle. I wish that was possible. Uh, maybe that's not so straightforward here. Let's all right. Let's undo this. C command Z, Command C. What else do we have? We got the magic cutout. So what do we want? Keep or remove? So let's remove. Okay. All right. So we, I'm clicking and I'm dragging. Well, actually, like only clicking works. So I'm clicking on this and it starts removing things. But I wish I could remove more. Let me see, tolerance, none, continuous, hint, remove. What does that do? Okay, it's like, it keeps like a background, it kind of blurs a little bit, but you still see what's going on in the back. So it kind of does this. If this was a green screen, like I'm doing right now, I think that would be much easier. Let's actually 
well let's load one in right now so let's toggle this let's open an image let's open one of my images with green screen all right let's open this handsome guy right here and let's add it to the current one okay so like i said here's a layer here's one layer okay let's do this so all right so i'm clicking on the greens and you see how easy that was then it removed that but then again, um, like I said, I wish I could remove the little cross right here, this one, so it turns out to a, like a little click, a mouse pointer, so I can actually move myself somewhere else. Um, let's see if there's like some basic tools that I could use that later. But let's undo this right here. What if this cross? Okay, that's cool. We can hide that for a bit. All right, what else do we have? We got the draw cutout. Let's remove all this. Let's go back, Command Z, Command Z. All right, let's command Z. Now we have select the draw cutout. Let's see, if I draw this. Oh, okay, it only cuts out where you draw. Now you could change the size right here, and it cuts it out, okay. What else, a lasso cut. Let's command Z again. Well, that, command Z. How does the lasso cut work? If I go all this, all right, it removes that. So I think that's pretty cool. That's cool, but I wish there was like a auto cutout. But I think that's a separate tool in Pixel Alt. We'll check it out in a bit. We got softness, light, medium, or none. Softness means, for example, let me show you in a bit. So if I grab this line right here and I do that, it's going to do a hard cut. If it were soft, it kind of blends a bit on the edges. That's what it does. Next thing we have is the adjust. Change, vibrance, colors, lightness. All right. So basically what we have is, for example, by we don't want that. For example... In this image, I am using, or in this case, I'm using daylight light. That's what I'm using. So that's like 5,600 Kelvin light. If I wanted to change myself a little bit more orangey, I don't know, like more sunlight, I would use the vibrance and I go a little bit like that. See how it turns a little bit orange. I won't do it in this case. It's saturation will saturate the colors. If this were an image that didn't have any colors, then this would be a good one. Temperature also helps with the saturation, with the Kelvins, you change that. Tint, hue, you got the brightness, Let's see how bright it works, okay. This seems okay. I like the, the brightness on this. It's not that it looks good, I like that it, it does it gradually. I've used other online tools that, like, I mean, you just do like brightness, like 2%, 3% plus, and it goes really bright and it looks bad. And this one looks okay. Exposure. All right, exposure will expose everything that's, for example, shadows. You see everything that's shadow, it will expose it. Contrast, you got blacks. If you want to remove blacks or you want to darken blacks. Whites, same goes. Highlights, shadows, toning. Let's see what toning does. Let's click on one of them. Okay, I don't see it do anything. All right, doesn't do anything. Fill. Again, we have to consider that I am testing this with you guys. So there's a lot of things that I might not find out here, but okay, there's a curve chart. Can I move it? Double click to add, okay, double click on it. There we go. So we got the curves, oh, that's cool. We got this available. All right, that's cool. So let's remove all this and let's jump into the filter. So we got filters right here, which is blur, sharpen, smooth, grain, vineyard. Other filters and bitmap layers. So we got to sharpen if you got a blurry image and you want to sharpen it a bit or just to give it a bit more punch. For example, if I sharpen right here, is it sharpening? Let me, do we have zoom? Okay, we got zoom right here. Let's zoom and let's sharpen. Okay, it is sharpening. So like I said again, with the brightness, it does do it, gra sorry, gradually uh, like that. Okay, whoops, hey. All right, clarity, what is clarity? Okay, so it like highlights the edges on clarity. We got smoothness. So this image already has smooth, smoothness on the skin. Wanna add some grain. You got the scene, you got vignette. Vignette will like darken the, the edges or lighten, in this case white or black. Any of those two. Fringe, oh, that gives it a cool effect, like ooh. Looks like someone's stone with that. Dehaze, never used that, but oh, dehaze. For example, when you are outdoors and you shoot an image and it has like haze, because obviously with long range, you're gonna see some haze on the image, on, yeah, on the image, final image. This will kind of help you dehaze that. We got bloom, glamour, glamour, what does it do? Okay, it changes the effect. Posterize, pixelate, if you wanna pixelate, whoa, that's a lot of pixelation. 
Now, something I wish this had, or I can't find it, is that, for example, if I wanted to pixelate some text or a password on this image, then I select an area and I pixelate it. That, that would be nice. Maybe I have to add a layer, like a square, and then pixelate that. That could be an, uh, an option. And mosaic, all right. Next thing we have is effect. Use pre-made effects to change the look. Prefects, you got this, for example. You got all those options. I, and personally, I don't like these effects, but I mean, they're there. We got the liquify. Glow, grow, shrink, push apart. Okay, this is good. This is something that, that Photoshop has for example, and for example, and I haven't seen it in other uh, editors. So for example, what is this? All right, so let's grab, for example, one of my eyes is always smaller. Don't know why the hell that, that happens, but it happens. So if I do this, okay, we'll liquefy. All right, let's undo that. Let's see what we have to push. We got enlarge. So for example, if I enlarge, okay, I'll click that. But it's enlarging the pupil, for example. Restore, swirl, uh, size, for example, if I size. Okay, that looks a little bit better. Wait, no, that looks weird. <laughs> Let's undo that. I mean, you get you have to play around with this to see what you want to do with it. But for example, um, something they have to consider that this won't work, but I guess in, in Photoshop it will. For example, if you wanted to enlarge some um, woman's parts, right? And we wanted to push, for example. Let's just say, hey, you know what? I want some muscle. So let's open this right here. Let's liquefy this. But the problem with this is that you're liquefying the whole scene. So for example, the desk, you can see the line is not moving. So in Photoshop, you would like separate the layer and you would just liquefy, for example, the skin. In this case, I don't see a way to not do that. So it doesn't move the desk, for example. Let's undo that muscle right there. Okay, turn this back. And you got swirls, you got restores, just things that are helpful to have in an editor. Next thing we have is retouch, remove spots or wonder objects. So for example, if we remove, let's the size, let's say we want to remove this. Okay, I'll just click on it and it'll re try to replace it with what's what surrounding is there. So for example, if I had, or for example here my skin, if I do this, it's gonna fix my skin. Let's just say I had a pimple right here or something like that. It would help me remove that. That would help, that would be a, a use case or if you wanna remove something in the surrounding. Next thing we have is, oops, hover, drawing. So we got the drawing, um, nothing special about that. Just plain draws, there's draws, eraser and all that good stuff. We got text right here. Let's add a text box. Here's a simple text box. Um, fonts, these are the fonts available. Uh, there's a whole bunch of them. All right, so we got the fonts available and we got those. All right, next thing we have is the add elements. So in this, we have the overlay library, the border, the shapes, and the stickers. Let's add some stickers right here. Let's wait for that to load. Stickers, let's add this little beach ball. Looks like it's a ball or not. Okay, that's loaded in and we can set the transparency on it. Yeah, all right. Set the transparency on that, make it a little bit smaller. Let's click on this little corner and drag it. Let's turn back the transparency. All right, click it away. What if I want to add another one? Okay, that is possible, Command Z. We have the other overlays. So if you want to add an overlay to give it an effect, that's possible. So for example, this blue and gold thingy, let's add that. So that and a little bit like that, just some groove. That's just examples if you want to use something like this. Let's remove that, that overlay. Remember, we have the layers on the right. If you want to change the overlay, for example, the beach ball, if we want to put it on the top, that is possible. We got, what is this? We got add image. So we got stock images available. We got images that we can grab from an URL and we got the browse images. If I click browse, okay, that's my images that I, got. I have to browse. So that seems to be Pixel R, the X version. And let's just see what else we can find. So there's the undo, redo here, close, save, minimize, and layers on the right and navigate. So for example, if I zoom too much, I'm able to navigate right here. So if I, na I navigate to a, a place that I want. That is Pixel R. Let's go jump into the other version. So let's click here on the license and go launch Pixel RE. Let's see what's different about this. And again, we have, we are greeted with this and let's create a brand new one. And we can select the size from right here. So let's do full HD. So that's 1920 by 1080p. So let's create that and we got 
an image right here. So, oops, so too much. Um, we got the selector. We have the type. This kind of looks more similar to Photoshop. Um, let's drag an image inside of here. So let's go into file, open image, open Earl, open image. Let's just open an image and let's open one like this. So let's open this one. All right, that's the image I opened. And we have this lasso right here, which is the lasso select. This is looking more similar to Photoshop. So let's select that. What happens? All right. And if I wanted to delete, it'll delete that. All right. What happens if I right click on it? Oh, nice. Okay. Invert selection. So now it's selecting the outside. So I'll delete and now we're selected the outside. This is looking more like Photoshop guys. Now this one is a little bit more to my liking. What else do we got? Let's remove this, undo, undo. And let's see, this is the wand select. Use the magic wand to select areas with similar colors. So this will select, for example, oh, okay, let me undo that. Undo it again. I'm gonna click on it again, this little wand, click on this little green, and it selected most of the green. Now, here on the top, we look. it looks like we have some um, options when we click this. So we got new selection, add to selection shift, remove from selection, or we can use control, we saw that. So if some, for, for example, right here, we got some beard and we'll click on that. Oh, removed it quick. All right, and what happens if we delete? Let's remove that background. We got the background removed. Oh man, this is too sensitive, the, the zoom. All right, let's zoom it right here manually. Okay, so guys, fix the zoom. It's a little, too, a little bit too sensitive in the trackpad. All right, let's command Z this. Again, all right, look, look, looks like it's not working. There we go, okay. Oh, remember what I told you guys about, for example, here. I got this little cross for select, and if I click, I wanted to go with the uh, pointer, then here it is possible. This, this is more similar than Photoshop, to Photoshop. We got the cutout mask right here, so mask areas, if I select, oops, my bad, I select it. If I select this greenish, hey, oh, it's only gonna select whatever I choose. Right here, we got the AI auto. Let's do the AI auto. See what's gonna happen, guys. Cool, cool. All right, so we got an auto background remover. This is really useful. Did you just bring in an image and background removal automatically? Now, this is a super easy image. Why? Because it has a green screen. Let's load in a more difficult image and do the AI auto. So let's open a brand new image like the one we were using late before this, uh, st studio, that's the, this one right here. This one's more complex, Ultra HD, apply that. All right, let's use the AI auto again. What's gonna happen? Let's see if it's gonna take longer. Is it gonna be more difficult? How good is it gonna work? There we go. It kind of worked okay. Can we fix what's left? Let's see, we got the tool, shape, mask. Oh, that's okay. That's the other way around. So that adds shape. I wanted to remove. So remove mask. So if I select this, okay, don't want that. I want actually magic mask. Click on this. All right, whatever I click, if I click here, it removes that. Okay, so when the image is a little bit more complex, it's gonna take more work. It's not as straightforward. Now this is a really complex image. There's a lot of things going on in the image. It tried to do the best it could but it didn't do as well. We got feather continuous lasso mask. So if we got select this, then I'll remove that. There we go. That would work. I mean, if you would do it manually. What else do we got? Let's control command Z all this, command. All right. Next thing we have is the liquify. We saw that already on the other one. We got the heal. Also, it'll remove spots. We saw that already. Clone. This is in Photoshop also. Clone, for example, it should select an area and it should clone that same thing somewhere else. So for example, let's try it here on my hair, right? Let's just say I wanted that. Ah, I hate this little, it's too, too sensitive. All right, so if I click here, I'll use, is it on? What does it do? Okay, shift sourced. All right, so shift will click on the source and then if I add, it will add the source. All right, see that? Okay, shift will grab a piece, for example, here on my hair and I'll add hair right there for example, all right? And that's that works all right. Shift, the, oops, select it again, go back to the clone, and I'll shift this. 
and you would keep adding hair. Obviously, you have to select pieces that will look much better, right? Not like that, but it works. It works. We got the paint, select source, and we got, for example, okay. We got paint and source, and we got the brush size and how much you want it to use. Cool. Whoa, that's a lot of options right here. Cool. Nice. We got all that. Next thing we have is the Blur Sharpen Smush. So for example, if we want to blur this face, right now blur is selected and let's make it bigger. So let's switch the size, okay. And if I blur that, okay, that worked. Command Z. All right, we got Sharpen. If I want to sharpen, if I click, 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 it should be, keep sharpening until it sharpens too much. All right, that's cool. And we get the smoosh. Click one time. Click twice. Oh, I have to drag to smoosh. Okay, so if you drag, it smooshes. <laughs> all right. We got the size also right here, the brushes, styles, and all that. Oh, something I just noticed. Cool. There's the sections up here, like Photoshop. So we got um, the tabs. We got tabs right here. We got color controls, which is dodge and burn. Lighten or darken areas of the image, bring out dark areas. That's cool. So let's put this image smaller. And we got lighten. So let's just say you have a product and I wanted to bring out this microphone right here. All right, let's zoom this. Let's brush this, make this brush a little bit bigger. Okay and see how it's lining that. Obviously, I'm doing a really bad job at this, but this is just an example of something, right? You can lighten something so it pops out a little bit more. We got the darken, same goes, but the other way around. We got the sponge color. Let's make this bigger. Okay, make this image bigger. Okay, so this is, it will put some color inside. Increase, decrease, vibrant saturation. Let's command Z, all that. We got the pen, don't want to see that. Draw also, same, nothing special. The eraser, nothing special. Color replace, that's cool. Uh, fill, we got fill whole areas with a single color. So I'll just click on that, okay. So maybe you have something that's in like a vector image and something that's already like a square or just something really defined, that'll fill that. Let me see if I have something to fill in right here. For example, this white right here. I would fill it with, oh, here's the colors, with black. Oh, we'll choose red, okay, and red. So it'll try to fill that. If it were something more defined, it would be much easier. Next thing we have is the gradients. So we can do some gradient right here. Whoa, that's a big gradient. But what happens if we try to do a, all right, we got radial, we got linear, but we should have an option to kind of blur this. Transparent, opacity, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, let me click on this mouse, Command Z. Let's use the gradient again, see what happens. Okay, gradient. All right, nothing happened now. A little radial. Hmm, this seems like a bug. Nothing huge, just let them know. All right, shape, we got shapes right here, if we want to add, so for example, a circle. Another circle. Can we do something with these shapes? Can we fill or no fill? Okay, shapes without a fill. Maybe you want to point out something, that could work for something like that. We got text, available right here. Click on that. Do you want to add a text layer? Yes, and we got some text right there. We got the eyedropper to find a, a special color that we want. For example, this skin color, I'll select it, and it's selected on the bottom left right here. Easy, straightforward. We got zoom, all right. And we got the hand to drag and the pointer. We also have a history here on the right. We got layers, we got navigate as the other ones on the top. In this case, we have the files. We got new image, all this stuff, save, print. We got the edit, we got image size, we got layers right here. Select, adjustment, filters. We got some filters right here. It's not these selected, so it won't show. We got to zoom in and we got the help. So it kind of looks like a external app, like a desktop app, but it's actually working inside the browser. I think that's pretty cool. Um, in my point of view, Pixel R it, with the E is much better than the X. In this case, you can see it's a little bit more complex. Maybe it's something that you need more tools. This would work more. 
Um, overall, I think it's great. I mean, $49 to get all those tools. This is much, it's more different than other tools. Like for example, we got um, Crello, for example, Stencil. Those are more image-based types for social media, for adding, how would you say, designs, to, for making designs. This is more based for images, so you can edit it and go more in depth with this. So overall, I think it's a good buy for $49. There you go, guys. I hope you like this video. If you guys wanna grab the deal, it's only $49. It's a lifetime deal, you pay once. And if you use my link, you help me support and buy more deals for you guys so I can make videos. Thank you for watching. My name is George and this is SaaS Master. I'll see you guys later.